right along. Now what we need to do is split our notches out. So let's deal with one side at a time. I'm gonna just deal with our vertical side first because there's less info here so it's easier to see. And I'm just gonna choose one directionality of pipes. Just be consistent with what you do here. So make sure left is part of your vertical. And now that I've made this apparent, what I'm gonna do is select both these layers, which is the curve notches and the pipe notches. And I'm actually gonna put them into the vertical area. So now they're grouped all together. And I know I'm gonna use my left with my vertical. So I'm gonna select my pipes. And so all I should have on right now is my pipes and my panels. And if I select all this info, it'll tell me 75 extrusions, which are, are the pipes, and five surfaces. So those are the surfaces are the blue, the extrusions are the pipes. And so now what we need to do is split. And what I'm gonna do is select the panels that I want to be split, hit enter and then select the cutting objects, which are the pipes, and then hit enter. And let's see if it did it. So I'm gonna select every panel, and I'm just gonna hide them for now. And there's all of our splits from the pipes, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those, because those are just the information we're trying to get rid of. And if I turn, type show to bring the panels back, zoom into it here and you can see that the pipes notched everything out for us. Now you'll notice that there's these little little errors here. It's not a big deal. That right there you could just pinch off with your fingers after you laser cut if you wanted to. And if for clarity's sake, like if you really wanted to, you could probably ex um, extend your pipes a little bit. Extend these pipes out just a little bit more. So that way that they would do um, clean that up for you. But honestly, it's not necessary. So now that I've done that, let's go ahead and do the exact same process, but for the other side. So I'm going to turn on this side, and I'm going to hide the vertical. Oops. And I'm going to hide the vertical information altogether, because now we've taken care of that. And I said I was going to keep the right notches with the horizontal. So I'm gonna bring those into the horizontal layer. Go in. I don't think I can move it because I have it selected. There we go. Okay, now they're in. So let's do the exact same thing again. I'm gonna turn off my curves so that way they don't split. They don't get in the way of the split. And yeah, so let's try this again. Same process, split, I'm gonna select my panels, hit enter. Now I'm gonna select the cutting objects, which are going to be the pipes. Hit enter, and it did its work. Now we can hide the pipes because we don't need them right now. And let's just select every panel. Hide them. And then there's our split information. Get rid of that. Reshow what we've got. And we can see it did it again here, which it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. <clears throat> and now they're split in that direction as well. So if I go ahead and turn on both of our panels here, our horizontal panels and our vertical panels, we'll see that we've now achieved our notching. And so this is a really basic way to take a lofted surface and create, be able to create a physical model from it this is a strategy or a technique for, for doing that. Um, there's one more step, 
and that's going to be preparing this for the laser cutter because you can't just tell the laser cutter to cut this. And so I'm going to um, create a new video for that one specifically.